Bill C11. What's going on? Let's have a listen, um, quick. A, a terrible, one of the worst laws we've seen in this country. My, yeah, my, one of the worst. I think it's enormously problematic. I, I must admit, I think some of the characterizations that we've seen are, are exaggerated. You know, this isn't China. Uh, this is not North Korea. Um, but it does have the potential to impact our ability to be heard. I think we get to post what we want to post. Um, and there isn't, uh, I don't think there are implications in that regard. But part of expression is, is the ability to be heard. And the fact that this legislation does still give the CRTC the power to treat censor. content, posts on YouTube videos, TikTok videos. Call it censorship. kinds of things are all treated as programs that can be subject to certain regulations. That is still in the bill. You know, the Senate was convinced that that was still in the bill and that there was a need for They'll it. They'll censor YouTube. And I think discouragingly, Canadians went back to the House, as you said. The government took a look at that amendment, an amendment that I have to say still met the, the objectives of the government. And they stopped the debate. Nobody could debate about it. This is this is right. it disgusting. Back to the Senate for their approval of, of an a bill of a bill that does adopt some of the Senate amendments, but the most important one uh, lies on the scrap heap. So how long is it going to take for this to come through? Yeah, I think it's. I think we're still looking at a pretty long road. You know, so the the next immediate step is for Senate approval. They're off for a couple yeah. of weeks, so we're looking at mid-April. But um, it'll go back there. And and I think the expectation is that, notwithstanding the fact that the Senate did approve the changes, the government rejected some of those changes. That uh, in all likelihood, the Senate will still accept. The, the bill as it is now and, and basically uh, admit defeat, so to speak, with respect to their proposed amendment. The next step would actually be the government putting forward a policy direction to the CRTC. So they've tried to suggest, you know, don't worry about some of your concerns. We're going to direct the CRTC about what our key priorities are. That's going to take a little bit of time. Then the CRTC gets involved. So nobody's seeing any big money or any big changes, frankly, for, for quite a period of time. Polyev says he's going to he's going to get rid of it. So, you know, the quicker he gets in, the the better we can get back to not being censored Canadians. Well, you know, I, I think the why big question really push is why are so they choosing to reject the Senate amendment, quite frankly. You know, I mean, there, you, you know, we have a reasonable discussion as to how much is an appropriate debate and the like. Um, you know, I think when you're in opposition, you don't like governments cutting off debate. Um, and so we've, you know, back when it was the hard for years, liberals didn't like it. Yeah. Now the shoe's on the other foot. But the most important question really is, you know, the Senate took on board both the evidence that they heard that there was an issue here and the government stated objectives about what they wanted to include and created what they've described as a surgical amendment, one that, that, that ensures that the government's key priorities are still in place, but that there are some greater safeguards for the potential regulation of user content. And the fact that that was rejected. And frankly, the reasons that have been given are all over the place. Some, some basically suggest, well, they want the power in the future potentially to regulate. Others say it's, uh, it, these are loopholes, which is just plainly false. Others say, oh, there's nothing to see here. In fact, it, it's not regulated. But that's simply just it's, not it's uh, the independent expert view on where things are at. And so I think the big question is, you know, why? Why, why on earth, if you were given a nice off-ramp that still allowed you to meet your objectives, did you continue to insist that, no, we're going to go ahead and maintain these powers? And, and I fear that the answer isn't, uh, isn't one that's going to leave anybody with much comfort because it does suggest that the goal is to maintain some of these powers in the legislation, perhaps not to exercise them today or tomorrow, but they want to have those powers yeah. in place. 100% is going to be Canadian censorship, a little bit like you get in China and North Korea. So if something like the Freedom Convoy happens, and people start live streaming it, like they, they won't be that won't be allowed on any Canadian cell phone or YouTube channel. The only the only news you'll get is the news that the government want you to hear. Till next time.